woman claims her excellent credit score was ruined by a total stranger. It's a little known, but common credit bureau mistake that can wreck your finances. Action 9 consumer investigator Todd Ulrich found the bureau's mix up files with similar names and addresses, then restoring your good credit could take years to fix. Kayla Merchantson picked out her first new car, signed the contract, but then... I thought that my entire life was ruined right at that millisecond. Her new car loan rejected because of someone else's bad credit. Kayla had an excellent credit score, 720. Now the finance manager told her it was bad, 538. It was shocking. My heart dropped. The real stunner came when Kayla checked her report at all three credit bureaus. Her file now included a total stranger's bad credit entries, including delinquencies and collections. I could not believe exactly what I was looking at. It's called a merged file. Credit bureaus don't want to miss anything, so they cast a very wide net. And that's how strangers with similar names, ages, and social security numbers end up in your credit file. Kayla's report now includes a woman living in Bunnell. I'd never live in Bunnell ever in my life. But the woman whose name we're not including apparently is close enough for the credit bureaus. Kayla and the stranger have the same first name. Their social security numbers are just one digit off. They were born in the same month and year and they both live near Daytona Beach. It takes less than you might imagine for those two files to be mixed. Attorney Jared Lee represents Kayla, who just sued Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, claiming the bureaus violated the Fair Credit Reporting Act by merging her file, then failing to correct it. To put her life on hold. Kayla says the credit bureaus ignored her complaints. I wanted to rip my hair out every single day. It was impossible to fix by yourself. Her case extreme, but not uncommon. About one in 20 credit score complaints involve merged files because banks don't want credit bureaus missing anything. They would rather be over-inclusive and more complete than more accurate. Kayla wants her life back. If it's close, it's good enough. I was shocked. And it is. Now, all three credit bureaus told us they can't comment on lawsuits. TransUnion said it tries to resolve mistakes within two weeks. But obviously, in this case, that did not happen. Never Clearly. heard of anything mm -hmm. like this. And after she complained to the credit bureaus, they didn't do anything to help her. There were several attempts, but a couple of months later, that bad information came right back on her report. And tonight, her credit score is still much lower than it should be. Todd, could consumers ask for one of those credit freezes or fraud alerts to protect their credit? Their credit situation? Not really. That prevents fraud and identity thieves from creating new accounts. In this case, it's the Bureau adding these files, thinking they belong there when close enough is good enough, and that's just not right. Yeah, close enough, not good enough when it comes to that. Not your, your credit history and your good credit. No, right. not at all. Good report. Very interesting. Enlightening. Thanks, Todd.